So we are having a discussion. It says battery range four miles, not eight miles. And I have never had the switch over from battery to gas. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be driving four miles just so that we can see what it looks like when we switch over. I've been watching the fuel usage on this and um, I, I still haven't checked to see like with the odometer and the battery if that reporting seems to be exactly right or you know um, just trying to figure out how this all works so right now it says I have 189.8 miles on the odometer um, 1.1 gallons used it says 238 miles on the tank I guess that's left and then four miles on the battery that's left okay oh I guess it's the odometer is 298 219 miles so I'm not sure what 189.8 is confused um, total range 242 miles for the entire um, oh for both of the um, systems the battery and the fuel um, the gas uh, it's 242 mile range, 238, 39, 40, if anyone took, I can count, yep. Um, okay, it's already recording, and can you see the four? It's there. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna talk as I drive, and if you can see it, great. If you can't, oh well, I'm pressing the park release, and we're gonna wait for all of the traffic to come it's a little dark sorry we're doing this so late but it's the first switch over and I didn't want to miss it <coughs> yeah. oh, we're going so we're just gonna take a nice four mile drive so we can figure it out and I'm trying to stay a little bit on the um, on the leaf you know the rotating leaf which shows that I am driving in a responsible um, energy efficient manner um, but that's not really the purpose of doing this. We might as well just do it as long as we're taking a waste of fuel drive. <laughs> this doesn't actually take us anywhere except back to where we started from. Um, and it's still saying four miles. Hmm. Look, isn't that interesting? We've gone more than a mile, right? Is it coming off of the gas? I hope not. Three miles. Oh, yeah! down one. Okay, now it's reading 190.9, still three miles available on the charge. I have to go back and do the little finger counting to see if uh, mile for mile it's adding up. Supposedly if you drive responsibly, as in like here. Okay, I went out of the uh, green leaf turning for a little while. But um, you're supposed to get a longer range on the um, on the vehicle mileage than if you didn't drive responsibly. Oop, we're down to two and it's 191.0 miles. Just turned to two. Okay. So we were wondering if I should have read the manual on what to do when your battery goes dry do you have to actually get out and flip a switch to make it use the fuel no we'll sing a song 191.2 still driving green leaf rotating fashion what's it so i lost the mind you lost the miles? Well, it, it was showing and now it's not. Oh. Okay, good, I'm back there. Oh, is it my finger? I don't know, but okay. it moved. Now I can see it again. 191.4, it's still on two miles. I guess when we get to 192, it should be on one, right? No, I'm not really um, accelerating much. Like, my foot is all off the accelerator right now. And we're at 30. So maybe that'll catch us a few extra tenths of a mile.
also again it's called regenerative regenerative breaking so when you break it actually has the potential to add um, miles or points of miles back to your um, life of your battery so it's your hand your that is blocking oh sorry <laughs> okay sorry sorry no thank you thanks for letting me know that okay we're almost up to 191.9 191 See if we actually go to one or if it's a little later. 192 and it's still on two miles. Of course, I'm down to 25, I better accelerate. <laughs> this is where you get mad <laughs> if you're behind me. <clears throat> this is pretty good actually. Still on two miles. Here we are getting a little bit of extra. I don't have to accelerate, it's moving. It's good. Hmm. Look at that. I'll go straight here. I have to do the slow regenerative break. 192.5, still on two miles. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Because it's more than a mile, right? Wasn't it like about a mile and a half? Yeah. Just on that one mile, sort of, whatever. A mile, taking a mile and a half. <coughs> there we go. I want to see when it goes to one. Slow X, sorry. One mile. Okay, 192.7. forget exactly how much that was but we'll do a backtrack on the video when I cut it so that we'll actually know what that is and then we're going to go down to oh, it's going to make me wear a <coughs> okay just take whatever you can it's like okay. oh the camera died <laughs> so we are at 193.5 that was pretty funny uh, okay I actually need to speed up a little bit because all of this green driving is getting the guy behind me mad. <laughs> 193.6. I'm just going to drive straight until we mm -hmm. go to zero. And it's, there's no green left, right, on the bar. And 193.7, it still says one mile. There's no, it, is there any green left? I don't, I'm, I can hard, don't want to spend too much time looking at the screen. It's a little light, a little light on the battery. Yeah, there's really some losing. There's really not any, um, any. Okay, so it's going to be 238 on the tank, hmm. 193.9, so we've driven more than a mile, right? So it was 193.7 before. This is exciting! I wonder if that rotating leaf is ever not green. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so keep going, keep going. What's going on? 232 on the mods. We switched to tank. Did you see what happened there? This switched. Oh. Can you focus on that? Where is it? Right here. Do you see? It's a yeah, tank, so not the, blue, the battery. The blue? Yeah. Okay. So it switched. Yeah. It's not the battery anymore. There's no miles left on the battery. And the tank went to the lower position, which was previously occupied mm -hmm. by the battery. So we're at a stop sign. So let's do a little switch over here. So there we are. That's what it looks like. Zero miles on the battery. Oh, kind of hard to see, but um, I'll tell you, it's 231 on the tank now. 194.2 um, must be this trip. And then 1.2 gallons used, 161 miles per gallon average. There we go, folks. That was it. The big test. Yay! So we're sitting here talking about it. I actually heard the, a motor go on in the back as the gas was being used. It's my understanding that the motor generates um, electricity that's used to charge the battery. That's how it works. And um, <clears throat> you would think that there would need to be some kind of reserve on here that actually is um, in place. So I'm not really quite sure how this is working and we might have to spend a little time thinking about that later.